Welcome to our guide on fabricating a Nyrite-based zero-point energy ZPE, system. We're tapping into the universe's fundamental energy source, the quantum vacuum. We're dealing with cutting-edge materials, mind-boggling physics, and nanoscale engineering. Let's dive into the 13 essential steps to achieve this technology. First things first, we need to cook up some Nyrite using isotopic refinement and high-pressure crystallization techniques. The goal is nyrite with special quantum fractal properties. This gives it a massive surface area, crucial for interacting with the quantum vacuum. Now that we've got our nyrite, it's time to get artsy with CAD software. We need to design precise fractal patterns that will be etched onto our nyrite. These patterns are like antennas tuned to the quantum vacuum, maximizing surface area and enhancing Casimir force interactions. It's about finding that sweet spot where the universe gives us free energy. Time to bring our designs into the real world. Using high-tech machinery, we'll manufacture plates with nanoscale tolerances. Any imperfections could throw off the delicate quantum resonance. Remember those cool fractal patterns we designed? It's time to put them onto our nyrite plates. Using advanced lithography and reactive ion etching, we carve intricate patterns onto a nanoscale surface. It's mind-blowingly precise and requires sophisticated equipment. Our nyrite plates endure high pressure, precise machining, and nanoscale etching. Cryogenic annealing is next, a spa day in liquid nitrogen. This process relieves stresses and stabilizes the lattice structure. Time to give our nyrite plates a superhero suit. We're coating them with graphene. Graphene conducts electricity and heat, aiding our ZPE system. It also protects the delicate fractal patterns on the nyrite plates. Now it's time to build the house for our zero-point energy engine. We'll assemble modular frames to hold our nyrite plates just 25 nanometers apart. These frames are vibration-resistant, as even the tiniest shake could disrupt the energy harvesting process. Remember those nyrite plates we spent so much time perfecting? Now it's time to install them into our modular frames. This is a job for robots with nanoscale precision. If the plates aren't perfectly aligned, our ZPE system won't function properly. We're getting close to the finish line. Now we need to connect our nyrite plates with graphene-coated conduits. These conduits act like tiny power lines channeling zero-point energy. Integrate microchannel cooling systems to keep frames at optimal temperature. Time to fire up the ZPE system and see if our hard work paid off. We'll run tests, checking quantum interactions, energy transfer, thermal performance, and mechanical stability. It must handle real-world stress. If not, we'll calibrate with nanoscale precision. One ZPE module is cool, but a bunch of them? That's how we reach peak zero-point power. We combine modular frames into larger systems like a giant energy-harvesting Lego set. These systems have centralized energy hubs where clean energy gets collected and distributed. To manage this complexity, we'll use AI-driven control systems. Our ZPE system is built, tested, and ready to change the world. Time to pack it up and ship it off to its new home whether it's powering a city, a spaceship, or your neighbor's extravagant holiday lights. Deployment involves integrating it into existing infrastructure, like connecting it to the energy grid or a propulsion platform. Final step. We need to make sure our ZPE system can walk the walk, not just talk the talk. We'll test it under real-world conditions, monitoring energy output, thermal stability, and quantum efficiency. If it passes, it's certified for deployment and ready to usher in a new era of clean, limitless energy. And there you have it, the 13 critical steps to fabricating a nyrite-based ZPE system. Zero-point energy isn't just science fiction, it's the future of clean energy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for updates.